I'm not staying in Japan. What? They just lost the tournament, they're walking side to side. Eyes still red from crying, faces painted with too emotion to actual recognize them. I had an offer from a team. Then why are you not staying here? Oikawa laughs softly. Iwejumi was smart but he also asks obvious questions. It's from a team in Argentina. Iwejumi stops his feet. The cold wind hitting. His face. His eyes are looking in front of him but Oikawa knows the truth. Oikawa knows that the other is thinking about how to react. You can be mad, if you want. When? Hmm? His eyebrows raised, head slight tilted to the side as if he didn't get the question. When are you going to leave me, Kawa? This catches him by surprise. Leave Iwejumi? He isn't doing so. I'm not. I'll just be away, for a while. Liar. Oikawa doesn't know what to say, at this. Is he, a liar? But who is he trying to convince? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Iwejumi's voice is raising, tone louder and pinched. You're assuming I already knew. Iwejumi is laughing now, not happily, not freely like usual. He's bitter, almost tired. I hate it, when you do it. Oikawa knows what he's talking about but he asks anyway. Do. What? This. He gestures vaguely with his hands. The act. The faint innocence. Oikawa swallow back his spit, his hands in the pocket of his jacket. I'm not D. Stop it. Oikawa is standing still, eyes trained on his best friend. All his words stuck in his throat and an annoying ache indicating that he might cry again. That's not how it should have gone but what, exactly, he did expect. Kawa. Hmm? He. Doesn't trust his voice, at all. Iwejumi takes a step near him, enough to be facing him now. Give me your answer, when we'll meet again. Oikawa's mouth open, ready to question what he's meaning. What's happening? Then, Iwejumi lips linger for a second on the corner of his mouth. Oikawa is standing still, trying to elaborate what's happening but Iwejumi is already running. And Oikawa knows he can't try to catch him, not when he can't give him an answer. Fucking Iwachan. Japan vs Argentina. Years later Iwejumi is standing beside the door of the gym. The back leaning on the cold wall, eyes locked ahead but not really focusing on nothing. Are ye okay? Snapping out of it, the athletic trainer looks toward Itsumu. I guess. Itsumu doesn't look convinced but doesn't pry farther. Just. Looking at the older man, he knows that it's something he's not willing to share. Good game. Would have be better, if we'd actually win. Iwejumi nods, half into the conversation. Probably. Itsumu takes that this is his clue to leave, pats him twice on the shoulder and goes. Iwejumi sighs, leaning more into the wall as if it could swallow him, and closes his eyes, fingers holding the bridge of his nose, as to take away the soon-to-be headache. Looking pretty tired, Hajimi-san. His eye snaps open, instantly meeting Oikawa's. He pinches his expression into anger, annoyance at least, but the fondness is too obvious in his look. Won't even hug me? Years and you're still annoying as fuck. Oikawa gasps, hand flying to his chest and Iwejumi can't help but laugh. Loudly, happily. He thought. That not seen each other for years would took away their banters, he's glad it didn't. I wasn't annoying when you kissed me, was I? All seems to freeze in that exact moment. Iwejumi's laugh died, Oikawa expression saying I just fucked up. Iwa, it's fine. Just, not now. The setter seems to understand and nods. The conversation dies, for a while, before return to what it was before, careless. Like they were 18 again. One ahead somewhere, with me? I honestly want to go home. Oikawa's expression turned sad but didn't say anything. He simply nods, slowing his pace to let Iwejumi walk ahead of him. What are you doing? Letting you go? The trainer sighs, a bitter reply pushed back. I meant with you. He turns around, meeting a very confused Oikawa. They're still in the middle of a street. Looking at each other like years ago, suddenly, Iwejumi feels a stupid teenager again. I wanna go home, because I'm tired, but I'm never said I was going alone. The real meaning of the sentence hits Oikawa on the face, who seems brighter than ever. You could have just said that. Iwejumi shrugs, eyes unfocused. I wanted to see if you'd let me walk away again. Again? The man fights back a frustrated sound. Like the last time. I wanted to chase you, you know? No, you didn't. This sounds too bitter, even for him. Oikawa makes a face, as if he's being punched but doesn't say anything for a while. You didn't ask for your answer. Maybe I'm tired of chasing you Toro. 
Oikawa moves even before speaking, grabbing him by his wrist as if stopping him for running away. The fear that this might be the last time he does. I'm sorry. I'm scared, always been. Iwejumi looks at his wrist, eyeing the hand around it. You think I'm not? Fuck, what do you think I am? Oikawa shakes his head, bile forming at the back of his throat. The urge to cry or to scream, to tell him that it's just difficult to explain. You're just, shit. Hajimi, you're braver than I am. Always been. It's tiring. Being always the one who chase. At least give something, please. Anything. And Oikawa stops think, stops the stream of thoughts that are trying to eat him, and just move. The hand on his wrist letting it go, to grab Iwa's hand instead. The other hand around his neck, pulling him into a kiss. It's awkward, definitely not one that should be written about in books, but it feels so good. Oikawa. Pulling him against his body, Iwejumi's fingers in his hair. I knew what I wanted, I was just too scared to lose everything we had already. Their foreheads resting against each other. Fool, you'd never lose it. You'd just have more. He squished his hands, like they did as kids when they had to chase off their fears. I can't be that greedy. You should. I would never let you fall because I'd always be there to catch you. Promise? Iwejumi smiles, feeling the tears already forming at the corners of his eyes. Promise. Just, give me something to remind me that I'm not alone in this. Oikawa smiles, softly, before kissing the tip of his nose. That, I can sure.